Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, I'm the host, teacher Jonathan Musao. And today I'm going to teach about hyperchase. As you can see on the screen, I'm covering the topic of hyperchase. And uh, in details, I want us to look at a question where you are told to find the monthly installment. Uh, looking at the example given below, the cash price of a radio is 8,000 shillings. Regina bought it on high purchase terms. The total amount she paid was 25% more than the cash price. She paid a deposit of 1,000 and the remainder in 20 equal monthly installments. Then the question is, how much did she pay by installment? So if we go to analyze this question, and maybe I read just once more for you to get the question clearly, the cash price of a radio is 8,000 shillings. Regina bought it on high purchase terms. The total amount she paid was 25% more than the cash price. She paid a deposit of 1,000 and the remainder in 20 equal monthly installments. Question, how much did she pay per installment? Now, when we go to analyze that question, we are told that the higher purchase was 25% more than the cash price. So what does this tell us? The cash price was the original price, which is 100%. And we are given that as 8,000 shillings. Then the higher purchase, which was 25% more, will be 100% plus 25%, which is 125%. So now we have the percentage of the cash price and the percentage of the higher purchase price, where the cash price is 100%, the higher purchase is 125%. Moving on, when you are solving this problem now, we said to say that the 100%, which is the cash price, is the same as 8,000 shillings. And uh, we have known that the higher purchase is 125%. So it is, it's what represents 125%. So in this case, we are supposed to cross multiply. That is multiply 125%, multiplied by 8,000, then divided by 100%. And this gives us 10,000 shillings, which is the higher purchase price. Just go back a step to repeat what I've said. From the question, we were told that the cash price was, the higher purchase price was 25% more than the cash price. So when we compare the two prices, we see that the cash price is the original 100%, the higher purchase is 125% because it was 25% more. Then we form an equation where we say if 100% represents 8,000, what about 125%? Remember, 125 represents the high purchase price. We cross multiply and get 10,000 shillings. So the high purchase price, 10,000 shillings. Now, remember, in the question, we were told that he pay, she paid a deposit of 1,000, and this was paid in 20 months. And we all know that the higher purchase price is given by the formula deposit plus total monthly installments. We know that higher purchase price is given by the formula deposit plus total monthly installments. Right now, we have the higher purchase price, we have the deposit, but we don't have the total monthly installments. What we have from the monthly installments is the number of months. So we substitute this formula, which says higher purchase is equals to deposit plus total monthly installments. In the place of higher purchase, we put the 10,000, as you can see there on the screen. And then uh, in the place for deposit, we put the 1,000, which we're given, then plus the total monthly installments. So 10,000 equals to 1,000 plus total monthly installments. So if you want to get the total monthly installments from this formula, we know that we are supposed to subtract first the higher purchase which you got minus the deposit. Once we take away the deposit, we are left with the total monthly installments, which is 9,000. Now, remember from the original question, we were told that this was paid in 20 months. So 9,000 paid in 20 months. What were you paying each month? That is so simple now. We just get the 9,000, which represents the total monthly installments, divided by the number of months, which gives you 450. Each installment, she was paying 450. So in a quick review of what I've said, just to make sure that you have understood. From the example, we were told that uh, the cash price is 8,000. 
the higher purchase was 25% more and the deposit was 1,000. And then this money was paid, the remainder of the money was paid in 20 equal monthly installments. We went ahead and analyzed the question and saw that the higher purchase was 25 more than the cash price. So we say that the cash price becomes the original, which is 100%. The higher purchase, uh, which is 25% more, becomes 125%. So we know the percentage for cash price is 100%. The percentage for high purchase price becomes 125%. So solution number one, we ask ourselves, if the original price, which is the cash price, is 8,000, 100% of 8,000, what about 125%, which represents the, the higher purchase price? So we cross multiply, and from the cross multiplication, we get that the higher purchase price is 10,000. So moving on. Now, you remember from the question that the, the deposit was 1,000, and it was paid in 20 months. So we have a formula which says higher purchase price is equals to deposit plus total monthly installment. So we substitute the formula. To substitute the formula means to put the values as they are supposed to be now, the ones that we know. Like we know higher purchase was 10,000, as you can see here, and then equals to 1,000, which is the deposit, plus total monthly installments. So we have substituted formula, uh, higher purchase with 10,000. In place of deposit, we have put 1,000. So now, to get these total monthly installments, it will be easy. Check away the higher purchase, which in cons constitutes of the two things, that is the deposit plus the total monthly installments. Check away the deposit, and you're left with 9,000. So 9,000 represents the total monthly installments. That means, after paying the deposit, he pay, she paid a total of 9,000, and this was paid within 20 months. So to know what she was paying each month, just get those total monthly installments and divide by 20, which gives you 450. So I have a question here that you're supposed to try, which says the marked price of a set is 18,000 shillings. Lenny bought the set on higher purchase terms, and the higher purchase was 20% more than the marked price. He paid a deposit of 6,000 and eight equal monthly installments. What was each installment? So as you work out this, it's good to show you the working steps. Don't forget, in this question, 18,000 becomes the original price 100%. Higher purchase becomes 120%. So you ask yourself, if 100% represents 18,000, what about 120%? You don't know how to cross multiply. You cross multiply to get the higher purchase price. Once you get the higher purchase price, you take away the deposit, which was 6,000, so that you get the total monthly installments. So the higher purchase you've got, subtract the deposit, then you divide by the number of months, which are eight equal monthly installments. Once you divide the, those total monthly installments by eight, you get what each installment was. So I'm happy that you have watched. I think you have understood and there goes assignment from the reference book of KCP made familiar to the topic of higher purchase. So you answer the questions number 8, 14, 16, 17, 21, 22, and 27. I repeat again from the book of KCP made familiar to the topic of higher purchase, you'll be able to see number 8, 14, 16, 17, 21, 22, and 27 are all talking about what I've taught. So thank you all, and don't forget to subscribe and comment when you join my uh, YouTube channel, Jonathan himself. Bye.